Hey peeps, Sarah here from Sparrow Springs. And first of all, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. And this is the second video in a series of some walkthroughs of a certain, um, it's a set of prints for my new and upcoming collection. So if you haven't watched the other video, I encourage you to also watch that one. I'll link that in the description. So this one, we are working on a watercolor painting of time. The the, the spice or thingy so yeah so once again I've sped it up for you so that uh, it's not too boring for you <laughs> but uh, have at it enjoy okay jumping right into this one so once again we are working with watercolor so <laughs> this one was honestly a little bit of a challenge as far as watercolor because I am kind of a detail freak and time has a lot of little leaves so uh, the drawing for this actually took me quite a bit of time just because I had to figure out um, the, the pattern of the stalks and the pattern of the leaves and like just realizing, okay, there's like two main leaves and then there's like four smaller leaves coming out from that and it was kind of a mess. So um, I was a little worried coming into this trying to paint detail with watercolor. I'm honestly fairly happy with how this one um, ended up turning out. Um, just because I find that when a medium forces me to be less detailed, I get more of that loose kind of, um, organic kind of pattern to it. So that was, that was okay for me. Um, something else that was actually really fun. I wasn't sure how I was going to get that kind of gradation from the bottom of the stock to the top. Cause if you'll notice on like stocks of time, it's like the bottom of the stock is more of this kind of like brownish purplish reddish color and then as it gets farther to the top of the stock it's more of a yellowish green um so I kind of had some fun with that and just like touching touching pigment to the different spots of water and letting it do its thing so um kind of a fun little technique there I'm also okay I have to say this because like typography is not my strong suit as far as like hand lettering and like actually designing text but I am super proud of myself for this series because the I feel like the lettering is fairly consistent and fairly clean and isn't super time consuming either now I I, I do have another another one that I will be working on that has a little bit of a longer name but it's not unbearable I would say so that all in all. And the other thing I really liked about this one was just being able to kind of play with the layers a little bit. So I had um, a few different layers of green and just um, taking the different values and the different uh, kind of saturations of pigment in here and trying to really flesh out those leaves without getting hung up on the detail. So I mean there were still a lot of leaves to work with but I feel like it was it was still fairly efficient. I would say. So, <laughs> um, and now something that was kind of cool about this, this particular collection, once again, this is part of a collection of, um, I'm, I'm trying to put together, this is going to be the largest collection I've ever put out. So my, my goal is to get 50 different designs into this collection. So this is one of a set of six. Um, if you haven't watched my other video, I talk about this in that as well, but, um, so this is one of a set of six and I already have two other ones done. I didn't get the first one recorded because of a little mishap. So I made sure to put my phone on do not disturb this time just so I didn't have any interruption of recording. Hopefully I will remedy that fairly soon. I'm working on getting a different camera to be recording um, painting and fine art and whatnot. So um, yeah. So this one was kind of fun, and um, I also have, a lot of times when I'm working on a collection, I kind of have p different people in mind when I'm making them, just things that I think they would like. So um, there's a there's a gal that's a um, fairly new acquaintance, but she's super, super sweet, and she absolutely loves to cook. So when she was, she was offhandedly talking and whatnot, and I had been showing showing off some of the preliminary sketches for this collection. Uh, she had mentioned, oh, you know, it'd be cool to get like little prints of all the ones that I use and stuff. And so I, I happened to ask her uh, which ones that she used and I 
actually hit five out of the six of her um, herbs and spices that she is using. So I ended up um, changing one of them to fit to fit everything. So my plan, when this one is all done, I'm going to get a set of these printed and give those to her. So it's kind of fun um, being able to design a collection around people you know or people you love in that way. So um, obviously this one is more of a kind of a kitchen theme wall decor. And, you know, it, it's funny because with fine art, you kind of expect the whole piece to be a composition in itself, but a lot of times when you're working on wall decor for someone's home, um, you kind of have to keep in mind that the artwork is just a piece of the whole composition. Like, okay, if, like, for example, if this one's going in a kitchen, it needs to be part of the whole composition of what your kitchen looks like. So you don't really want something that's too cluttered. Um, a lot of times I find minimalistic stuff works better in this area. It kind of appeals more to the eye. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind for any artists out there who are making things that they hope to sell as wall art. Now, if you if you have something that's more of a bigger statement piece, then that's something that you would want like a full out uh, composition for. But for this one, since especially with it being part of a set, um, I want to keep the individual designs fairly minimalistic. Which is actually something else to kind of keep in mind that if you do have things like this where it's more white space and more minimalistic that you can pair those things in sets really easily. So I had done quite a bit of research and a lot of the more botanical style things I had seen, um, a lot of them were in sets. So that's kind of what I was going for here. So lots of good stuff. But I would say that kind of wraps this one up and um, hope you guys enjoyed this. All right, peeps, thanks for watching. Once again, make sure you subscribe if you like this video and uh, keep up with, um, I have some more. I have some more of these coming up. So if you like that, make sure you like this video and post in the comments as well. Now, if you want to be the first to be notified of when this collection comes out, make sure you sign up for my email list, which is also in the description. So I'll see you later, peeps.